Time for dinner. Welcome back to my channel. For those of you that are new, welcome and welcome to today's video. So I am doing a barn night routine and it's gonna be a little bit different because typically when I do my night routines with all of my animals, I take you around the whole entire time while we take care of all of our animals and our nightly routine. So in those night routines, I find myself cutting out a lot of different aspects that we do around the farm just so that I don't end up with a two to three hour video. So I thought it'd be really fun to give you guys just my barn routine video. So this is just what I do in the barn because when I do my full night routines, a lot of the things, like I said, I have to leave out or cut out just due to the fact of timing of the video. So we're gonna go through and we're gonna do just a barn night routine and everything that I do from riding to cleaning stalls, feeding, grooming, all of those things, I'm gonna show you guys exactly what we do when we go into the barn at night. So if you guys are excited for today's video, if you guys are excited to see what our barn routine looks like, make sure you go ahead and give this video a big thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel down below. Make sure you turn on those post notifications so you don't miss any of these videos. And of course, have a chance for my post notification shout out. All right, you guys, let's get right into this barn night routine. So while we still have daylight, I like to either ride or I like to now, since we have a round pen set up again, I like to lunge him in the round pen because now I've been hauling him to barrel races more and I wanna make sure that he's just like staying in shape. So I don't feel like riding today, so we're just gonna go ahead and lunch him in the round pen. You ready, buddy? He literally is covered in shavings because he obviously rolled in his stall. All right. You ready, buddy? Good boy. You ready to go be lunched? He's like, no, not really. We have a little bit of a walk from the barn to the round pen, but we have an entourage right now <laughs> behind us and they get to watch Cash be worked. So I'm thinking I'm just gonna free lunge him. I don't think I'm gonna lunge line him. I think I'm gonna free lunge him. We'll see how it goes. Let's go buddy, come on. We have quite the audience. We have over here, Dinky and the goats, and then the three little pigs behind us. So everyone's watching today. But I always like to get him used to the whip that I'm using. And my whip is just to guide him. So I don't hit him with the whip, but I like to make him not scared of it. And lightly grooming him. <laughs> Getting his shavings off. Good boy. See, he's not scared of it. Oh! Okay, he might be scared of the pigs though. All right, buddy. So I'm gonna unclip him and send him out. Good boy. I'm just gonna start him at a walk. Good boy. There he goes. He looks good. Our lunging session is good, and he did really good. I don't typically free lunge him. I usually always lunge line him. So I think he did really good being free lunge. I'm really happy, and we only did it for like 15 to 20 minutes. I like to keep it short and end on a really good note. And my last lunge that I did with him, I felt was really good, so I just ended it. And we have a lot to do in the barn anyways today. Oh my gosh, back in two, down go. Come on, buddy. If you guys didn't know, I just pulled it from Louie's stall, so I'm gonna put it back in because Trigger is in Cash's stall. Come here, buddy. I'm gonna make sure that his water is full. He's not gonna be in here overnight, but still, we just lunched him. So I wanna make sure that he can cool down with some water while we complete our barn chores. 
Now we're gonna clean stalls, but as you can see this huge mess that we have right here, because this isn't like typical for a barn night routine, it just so happens that when I'm filming this, that there's a little extra work to be had. So as you guys know, with our stalls, we like to muck them completely out after a while of old shavings and such. So that's what we just did. But since it's a longer project, Mike got a head start on it. So that's what you're seeing. This is all of the old shavings from all the stalls. So basically this just needs to get dumped. We need to spread and then we'll finish the stalls. Our first load is getting spread. So on my little spreader, I have to just pull these back. Now we are ready to spread. We're using the side by side. Watch out, little goat. Our last load is filled and now it's time to spread for one last time of the night. Here we go. You guys are so cute in Not Your Right stalls. Trigger's like, what's going on, Mom? What's everything so different? Now that it's all spread, Mike did a little grading back here to get my muck cart. If you guys have missed my vlogs, then you don't know, but we got a new muck cart. There's the old one, but here's the new one. And it's like a wheelbarrow, but it has four wheels, so that's why I like it, and it fits a lot more. Here we go. It's not as easy, I would say, to like carry as the other one because there's like a direct handle but also I'm doing this with one hand so it is easier with two hands so we're gonna clean stalls but like I said we cleaned out most of the stalls so yesterday we started so this stall just has like normal wear and tear let's call it for the night <laughs> and so does this stall but the stalls that we fully cleared out today there's not really much in it. There's only this little bit in here because we had to move Trigger out because we were finishing up Trigger's stall. And then Blaze's is completely done. And Trigger's stall just needs shavings put down, which we're gonna do. But I'm gonna go ahead and muck the two stalls and then the one pile of poop he left us. <laughs> All right, Trigger, let's see. Back up. 
Back up. Back up, buddy. I need to get the pile of poop. Back up. Thanks for this. This was a perfectly beautiful, clean stall for your brother. And you had to poop in it. So a little water break in between this. So hot today, you guys, and I just need to tell you the sacrifice that I go through to film in my barn. So the fans make it really loud. So usually when we're filming in the barn, I turn the fans off so that the audio is better. So yeah, it's really hot, but now that we've finished all of the stalls, like cleaning them, we just need to add those three bags of shavings into trigger stall. Okay, now all the stalls are finally done, and it's time to start getting the horses fed up. So we need to bring them in, but we have a couple things we have to do before that. out all the horses get hay nuts except trigger because he slow feeds hay all day so let's see on the hay and I'm gonna put all of their buckets back in their stalls for their grain. Blazes, so he's got hay, working on caches. So now I'm just gonna go behind Mike and start flipping over the hay nets. There we go. I like to tidy up the barn just a little bit before they come in so that it's ready for me to room it once we're all done. Now everything before the horses come in is done, so what's left now is just to bring the ponies in. They're pretty far away. Let's go! Louie knows, Louie's smart. He knows the schedule. Let's go guys! on in, buddy. Now they're coming. Time for dinner. <laughs> okay, slow down now.
time to let the goats in and Dinky if she wants to come in. Dinky doesn't like to come in every single night, but when she does want to come in, I do let her come in. Do you come in today, Dings? There we go. She's like, yep, today I'm coming in. Let's go, Willie. Good job. Come on, Minnie. Minnie, don't fight the power. There you go. Everyone's in. <laughs> Trigger's like, give me my grain. And we just need to feed grain. But they are preoccupied by the hay. That's why we like to put the hay in first so they're not getting all riled up in here. Keeps them at bay. Hi, Willie. I know, you want some new hay, huh? Cashy. And blaze. I've got all my buckets. Now I just gotta fill them up with grain. Everybody gets a little over a half scoop and then everyone gets a scoop of aquinity. Hi, Dinky. You hungry? So all the food bowls are ready. Now I just gotta get some grain for Dinky. So Dinky gets like literally hardly any grain. That's for Dinky. All right, Dinky, you hungry? Over there. with it especially with how dirty they're getting since it's coming summertime I always just like to get the dirt off of them and then I always just pick their hooves just to make sure that when they were out nothing really got in their hooves he technically shouldn't have anything in them because he hasn't been out all day but I still like to pick his hooves ready for bed <laughs> after a long day of getting chased down by Dinky. They're so weird. They're so weird. He's also not a big fan of life, right? So everything is actually pretty much done for the horses. It's 8.30. We started at 6 o'clock, so that is two and a half hours. But I will say it's probably a little bit longer than what it usually takes us because a filming always slows us down. But the last part of our puzzle out here in the barn is brooming the barn out. So Mike is doing the honors and we always wait till the end to do this because by the time we move hay around, horses come in, we walk around, it just gets messy. So we wait to the very end of all the duties to broom the barn out. All right, you guys, well that is it for my barn night routine, just exclusively barn night routine. Now you know what I mean when I say that when I do my normal night routines, I have to cut out a lot because just as being in the barn was two and a half hours. 
So condensing the videos down to even just being like 20-ish minutes, it gets hard. So I have to cut out a lot of this stuff and just keep it to the nitty gritty. But yeah, I am exhausted. I am so sweaty. This is a nice sweaty face of summer. I am like not looking forward to this at all. But there is one more step that we have to do. Obviously we have to feed everybody else, but we have to let out trigger and cash. So that's like technically our final step of our barn routine is letting trigger and cash out. But it's gonna be just a little bit because we let them finish their hay and then we will let them out. So I'm just gonna go ahead and end this barn night routine here. If you guys liked today's video, go ahead and give this video a big thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel down below. Make sure you turn on those post notifications so you don't miss any of these videos. And of course, if you have a chance to my post notification shout out today, shout out goes to all right, you guys. I love you and I'll see you on my next one.